Hello, Orange County. It's Samantha Decoff with Soko Real Estate. I would like to talk to all the buyers and sellers out there about how to establish value. And if you're a seller, you're looking at the list price of your house. If you're a buyer, we're talking about your purchase offer price. Um, and so the first thing I want to mention is the database that any good agent should, u uh, should use. And that's two separate databases, actually. One is the local MLS Realtor database, which most uh, um, anyone is familiar with. With hearing the MLS multiple listing service it's a subscriber only service you have to be um, uh, on you know in the local um, California Department of Real Estate if we're talking about California you have to have um, a state license and you have to pay dues to be on the local board which maintains the computer database okay so th within that you're gonna look um, for comparable homes or condos depending on what your property is that you're looking to um, spec out the price for you want to look at of course location within the subdivision does it back to a noisy road or um, conversely is it on a cul-de-sac with um, no road noise and a beautiful view um, is it in an area that has HOA and Melarose fees um, is that accepted or is that generally not accepted by buyers looking um, to move into the area. Maybe it's totally accepted and um, and there's a few master plan communities where where homeowners gladly pay four to six hundred dollars a month because the facilities that they are offered as homeowners there are absolutely fantastic and you know the buyers are willing to pay that that nut. Um, the other thing is going to be improvements within the house. There's a ton of older subdivisions in Orange County. So if you're looking at something that was built in the 60s, 70s, 80s, um, do you walk in and it feels brand new or do you walk in and it's grandma and grandpa's house with shag carpeting and um, they've lived out their life there and, and have uh, moved on to live in a different area now, um, but they're selling their vintage house, you know, with the avocado refrigerator. So um, all those things are all going to come into play um, for establishing value. Um, any agent will be able to go through the MLS and really understand um, within the past six months of sales how to create and establish a value for your particular property. Um, the other thing that a, an agent should look at, not everyone does this, but I think it's really important, is the tax assessor um, database. So uh, you want to go look at off-market sales. Uh, any seasoned agent will go do this and you'll look at things like um, you know, family sales that have sold from family member to family member without being um, on the market. You're also going to look at foreclosures. Maybe something is um, has a notice of default in it and it's actually going to be um, you know repossessed by the bank. Um, so those kinds of things won't be in the public database but they will potentially affect value. So to um, you know to do your sellers or buyers the best service you should definitely you know have an agent that that looks at both of those databases. And the third and most important and uh, you know biggest cliche in real estate obviously is location. And it's location, location, location. Um, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Uh, and the thing about location um, that is really, you know, just funny but offer, often overlooked is, is you want to understand not only the location of the house, but you want to under you want to work with a realtor that understands the location of the area you're looking at, and um, so what do I mean by that? I got an offer from an agent that was substantially uh, substantially lower than it should have been, and this particular agent he was from out of area, but you know convinced some buyers to work with him and um, anyway he was one of the offers that I got on this listing that I had and he used um, some comps that were just totally out of whack because these comps yes they had sold yes technically they are comps because they are uh, you know they've closed escrow but what that agent didn't understand he didn't understand that there were mitigating factors um, you know there was uh, erosion and some geologic trouble within a particular subdivision that severely impacted the uh, you know the market value of those particular comps and it just was completely made his offer totally out of whack because he was an agent that just uh, zipped up the MLS and, and looked at it and simply did um, you know price per square foot and and didn't really take the time or the effort to understand the full um, you know the full 
extent of the comps that he was using to substantiate value in his offer. So I just want to caution all the buyers out there to work with an agent that um, not only knows how to use a computer and can pull up numbers, um, but really understands how to establish and determine value um, by living in the local marketplace and having local knowledge. It's critical. So don't sell yourself short, whether you're a buyer or seller, use an agent that lives in your your not your subdivision necessarily per se but lives in the location um, does business constantly in the location where you're looking to do so that if you're a buyer you get the best price you can or if you're a seller you get the highest price you can um, just don't sell yourself short um, use someone that is really an expert in your area I know it's been said before but it bears repeating if you have any questions comments um, I'm on Twitter at Realtor Samantha and uh, you can catch me, uh, uh, call me if you want, 949-613-1703 or on the web, socohomesforsale.com. See you later.